Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, today begins the Day of Atonement. Uh, as the sun begins to set in Jerusalem, the Day of Atonement. And then for 24 hours, so tomorrow all day, of course, the Day of Atonement recognized. Uh, in the book of Leviticus, during the when God revealed uh, His laws to Moses, this Day of Atonement was set up once a year for the high priest to go into the Holy of Holies before the Ark of the Covenant where God himself dwelt. And there he would offer an atonement sacrifice for the sins of the people. Uh, this is a very fascinating and very powerful day. Now we know that, of course, Christ Jesus would become that ultimate sacrifice and bring the atonement for our sins forever. But until, before that happened, every year the priest would go in for the atonement of the people. Well, let me take you to the book of Leviticus chapter 23, and I'll start reading at verse 23, and it says, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets and holy convocation. Now, we've just, we've had that, okay? That just took place. And, of course, you don't, uh, you shall do no servile work therein, but ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And many of you uh, gave your uh, offering, uh, your Rosh Hashanah offering, the beginning of the Feast of the Trumpets. Now, it goes on to say, uh, in verse 25, verse 26, And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Also, on the tenth day of this, the seventh month, there shall be a day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation unto you, and ye shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And you shall do no work in that same day, for it is the day of atonement, to make an atonement for you before the Lord your God. And so this is it. We've, we had Rosh Hashanah. We had the beginning of the Feast of the Trumpets. And uh, now this evening, as the sun is setting, that begins the day of atonement until the sun sets tomorrow. And so uh, this is when the priest would go into the Holy of Holies and offer a sacrifice for the sins of the people. And it's a powerful time of uh, remembrance of this great day, Yom Kippur. Uh, and so many of you will be sending in prayer requests and praise reports. Many of you, uh, of course, you can go to our website and you can uh, send these in. You can send them in. Uh, your prayer request, but also uh, when you're bringing your offering before the Lord on the Day of Atonement, when you're saying, God, I'm offering to you uh, my rededication, my, my refocus, my thank, I'm just praising you and thanking you for the atonement of my sins. You know, when Jesus died on the cross, that sacrifice was paid for the sins of the world. No wonder John the Baptist said when he saw Jesus coming down into the river Jordan, he said, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sins of the world. So if you want to uh, worship the Lord in your offering today, of course, come to our website. You can do that. You can send a uh, praise report. You can thank the Lord for your salvation, for the blood of Jesus Christ, which is the atonement for our sins. Uh, in Israel today, of course, it will be a very special day there. And uh, there's a whole lot going on around the world as people are recognizing the Day of Atonement uh, today. Um, God is so good. God is so good. His mercy endureth forever. The Bible says, For by grace are you saved through faith. It's not in ourselves. It's a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. We've received the atonement through the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Salvation is ours. Call upon the name of the Lord. Give your life to Jesus Christ. Be born again. And, and be filled with the spirit of God's grace and mercy and love and the power of his might. Because in these last days, if there was ever a time that people need to be fully 
wearing the whole armor of God, it's now. Don't miss today's live broadcast. Starts actually at 11 o'clock a.m. We're starting one hour early. It will be a powerful program. We're going to talk about the Day of Atonement. We'll be lifting the Day of Atonement offering and sacrifice unto the Lord as pray and praise and worship. We'll also be talking about this breaking news from the WikiLeaks emails of the, the fallen ones, the Vatican's acknowledgement, John Podesta, the White House, and others in government's acknowledgement of the fallen ones and communication with them. They're calling them aliens. And what does this all mean? We're going to discuss it today. It's going to be a powerful program, plus a whole lot more. I'll see you at 11 a.m., one hour early today, at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com.